welcome to the 17th of September. We arrived back yesterday to some bad news. So we arrived back from Milton Keynes and we knew Lulu wasn't well when we were away. Uh, George and Ruth moved into our house while we were away because Lulu hasn't been great and gets even more upset when we take her out of the house or when she's away from me or us I should say but I have noticed that Lulu has been very very clingy even if I'm in there even if I'm in my room doing a video she needs to be beside me it it's it was really bad like anywhere I go she has to be right beside me so I knew that was happening now I don't think she has the energy to follow me about I could see her looking at me to kind of move her about so anyway to get to the point Lulu is dying she has kidney failure so they scale it from a scale of one to four she is on a scale of three and um, anyway so we knew she wasn't well and Ruth sent me a message when I was on the train which kind of let me know she really hasn't been well so we phoned the vet whilst we were on the train made an appointment took her straight to the vet we gave her blood tests and by the time we got home we had the results of the blood tests which confirmed she had kidney disease or kidney failure so um, she hasn't been eating we left on Friday so she hasn't eaten anything since Friday she's still taking water that's because of her kidneys but that's good um so when we took her to the vet yesterday they gave her an anti-sickness um injection she also she's also got an infected eye so we've got drops for her eye um, and there's no cure there's absolutely no cure so as you can imagine I've broken my heart I went to the gym this morning after the vet yes whilst Rico had Lulu I went I just I just needed to get to the gym and just do my workout um so I'm, I'm, I know I'm a bit all over the place so we took her to the vet she got her injection she got her drops she got an injection for something else oh because she had sickness and diarrhea as well so she got an injection for her for her diarrhea as well so she hasn't had any sickness she hasn't had any diarrhea I managed to feed her we cooked up some fresh mints for her this morning some beef mints and she took some from the palm of my hand but that's been it I've she's taking water but I'm also syringing water into her mouth as well just to make sure she gets plenty of water I gave her her drops we've also got some anti-sickness tablets because injection lasts for about 24 hours so looks like I'm gonna lose my doggy as well this year um we were told we'll probably when she gets really bad because it's really unfair on her we'll probably have to um put her to sleep which I <laughs> I can't bear doing so anyway I got up this morning I managed to give her the mints like I said but I didn't feel it was enough so we took her back for another anti-sickness injection this morning and then Rico brought her home and I went to the gym and that's basically where we're at but I was talking to Tanya from Bits and Bags she basically just randomly texted me and asked how I was. I don't know if she felt I was being a bit quiet on Instagram or whatever. But um, I told her that Lulu wasn't well. And she said to me, well, she's still here. And you know what? She's absolutely right. She's still here. I don't know if she'll still be here when this vlog goes up. But um, if you don't see a message come across the screen then um lulu's still with us but yeah my baby girl
Good morning and welcome to the 18th. Here's Lulu. She's out going for a pee, which is a good thing. Yesterday we were kind of lifting her up most of the day. She's very unbalanced on her feet. Here's my good girl. Here's a clever girl. She's very thin looking. So thin looking. Let's hope she eats today. Come on, Lulu Moo. Lulu! Hello, good morning. Here's my good girl. Come on. You gonna do poopers? My Lulu gonna do poopers? No? We're gonna go in? Come here. Yeah, you're gonna do poopers? You gonna come and do din dins? Let's go and get din dins. Come on. Come on. There's our Millie there. Come on, Lulu. Come on. You coming up the stairs? Come on, that's a clever girl. Come on, good girl. Good girl. Can you get din din? Welcome to Thursday the 19th. Here is my Lulu. Yes. So, yeah, I'm back from the gym and it's really, really hard for me to vlog. I'm, you know, I'm quite obsessive about my housework. Well, I just, just having some water now, look, everything's a bonus now. Of course they drink a lot more when they have um, kidney problems or kidney failure. And we had noticed that she was drinking a lot more. I actually thought she was going to end up diabetic. Um, so yeah. Yeah, my good girl. So I've been to the gym and I did come back. I'm going to go back and do blaze. And I tell you, it's a godsend because it just takes my mind right off everything. When I'm at home, I just keep thinking about everything. I bought some patty. She used to love a bit of patty. And I checked the ingredients. There was no onion or anything like that. And I bought patty, hoping she would have some of that until I get... I've ordered her um, a special diet that the vet recommended for dogs with kidney failure. I've also ordered, ordered her a supplement as well, which helps to clear the toxins or bind the toxins or whatever in the kidneys. So I've bought her that as well. And I know I'm all over the place. I know I'm talking, one minute I'm talking about housework, next minute I'm talking about the dog. But yeah, when I'm at the gym, I can kind of focus on something else and I have to keep remembering what Tanya said to me she's still here and she still is you know talking to other people you know she's not at the stage where she's peeing in her bed you know and not moving she kind of lets us know when she needs a toilet she starts moving about but other than that she's not really moving she hasn't barked I miss her barking so much do you know her barking used to drive me crazy in the morning she would get up and back first thing in the morning because she was always used to me getting up so early I think I've said this in one of my other vlogs but anyway before we knew she was unwell and she would bark like crazy she said look she doesn't really know where to go um look I've got the hoover sitting there in the hope that I'm gonna hoover I have no enthusiasm for my housework at all I have really none but I'm going to do it um so she, she doesn't bark, but in the mornings she used to bark for her breakfast. She loved her breakfast. She barked until you got up. And then when you came down, just move says, I can't talk about it. And then when you come downstairs, she would bark and bark and bark until you put her um, food in her bowl. 
and I'm just trying to, I know you're supposed to give them a low protein diet, but the vet says just try and get her to eat. If she doesn't eat, she's just gonna die quicker rather than later. So she had some salmon again this morning. She had some yesterday. I've bought chicken thighs for today's dinner. Just stopped at Aldi's there after the gym. And I bought the chicken thighs because I'm gonna cook them quite plain and then try and feed her them as well. Her, her, I ordered her dinner and things from Amazon, the special diet from Amazon and the supplements. So they should be arriving on Saturday. No prime for them. Here are the thighs that I bought. So I bought two packs of them. So I'm just going to roast them in the oven. I might as well show you what else I got. So that's going to be today's dinner. And hopefully Lulu will have some of them as well. I just got some yogurts. Light Greek style yogurts. Just got these quick potatoes again. They were great. I got them the last time I showed on one of my other vlogs. And it says here to put them in the microwave. I just roast them in the oven and they're lovely. So we'll just have some chicken thighs, some roast potatoes, some coleslaw. Again, I got my sushi for snacking. Look, there she's here. Just having a wee wipe of her face. See, all these things are good because she just wasn't doing any of that. So these are all good things, but she still wants to clean her face. I just, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep focusing the camera on her because we don't know how long we've got with her. Look, she's obviously packed up a bit since we got back here. Like I said, Ruth and George moved into the house with her. Ruth is amazing with dogs. She's always had dogs. George spent the night with her in his house and then he decided they were moving here just because she was looking so unwell. So they were brilliant with her. Couldn't have asked for anything more, actually. But she still gets stressed out. And we go away and it all started again as soon as she saw the suitcases come down. Yes, you. Yes, my beautiful girl. Do you want to try some patty? Just more salmon? Would you like some more salmon? Mummy, go and get you a wee bit of salmon? Now that you've had some water? She did do quite a few peas and poos in the house when we were away. Didn't you? Yep. Which she was so house trained when she was well. It was, um, she would never. Because I had her when I worked all day. So she was used to being in the house and holding her pee. She was a bit of a mischievous dog. So the boys could tell you a good few stories about her when she was a pup. Yeah, couldn't they? But now you're just old. She's 12 years old. Lulu is 12. She's actually going to be 13 in February. February the 13th. She's going to be 13. Aren't you, Lulu? Lulu! Lulu! She doesn't even react to her name anymore. Lulu! Lulu more! She's a beautiful girl. Lulu! You're going to be sick. She's also on medication to stop her diarrhea. Um, although she managed to poo kind of five o'clock this morning. She jumped off the bed and we took her out. And um, she pooed yesterday as well. A bit loose, not total diarrhea, a bit loose. But I gave her her medication again today. But yeah, that's my Lulu. And that's the update on my beautiful girl. See, I told you I'm going to be all over the place. So, dinners, chicken thighs, and I can't remember what I showed you. Coleslaw, yogurts, just some Milton Mulberry pork pies just to have in the fridge. Sushi, this is what I like to snack on. I've told you that before. I just got a bottle of Chardonnay and a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc. I got a diffuser. They didn't have those ones that I really, really liked that I've only ever seen in Aldi's once. Um, this one, oh, as soon as you walk in here, it smells lovely. The Oud and Bergamont number 16. Well, it's not focusing, but it's number 16. And the bottle is slightly different as well. Um, yeah, oh, but it smells lovely in here. These are my little characters in here. One's having a poo poo, you know, one's having a pee pee, and one's picking the nose. And she's still standing there. Where are you standing?
stand in there for? Should we go and get you some salmon? So that was that. Got some flowers. What are these anyway? Well, I just got them because they were blue. Uh, beautiful blooms. Owls. That's what they are. Alstromeria. I don't know. But this is what these are. So I just got them for the kitchen. My favourite flower. Roses. For my sitting room. Just got some eggs. We got more sushi. And we got more patty. And we got some whole nut. And I got some Scottish triangle oat cakes. And that's my phone. And that was the patty I got for Lulu, which I've been eating. And that's Lulu's salmon. So I'm going to try a bit just now, see if she'll take some. Oh, she's lying down now. She's settled down. She's going, oh, she's talking to herself again. I'm going to have some, Lulu. And of course, Lily comes running as soon as she sees me trying to feed Lulu. This one's getting fat, look. But Lulu was fat too. She won't take it. This is how I feed her. I put the food in the palm of my hand and that's how I get her to eat. Although yesterday morning she went to her bowl herself. Right, let's try and get this house tidied a wee bit. Okay, I'm going to try and tidy up this kitchen. It's half eleven. I'm gonna tidy it. I'm gonna. I'm hoping. I've got an hour before my next. I look awful. I do apologise, but I look awful. I feel awful. I'm actually booked. I'm gonna go for a blow dry and try and cheer myself up. Always cheers me up. A blow dry makes me feel better. Makes me look a lot better as well. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up. I want to clean my kitchen. I want to clean my fridge and go to the gym be at the gym for half 12 back shower and then off for a blow dry that's the plan <laughs>